Hey everybody, my name is Jackets, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Bleed 2 Auto Splitter running well, no matter what beta version you have enabled. So for me right now, I'm using the Ultra Secret beta, which allows me to switch my dashes to teleport or energy blast or whatever I'd like without using the pause menu, and it also enables online co-op. So in order to enable it, you type in pork chop sandwiches with no spaces. You check the code and that should get it. Since I'm offline right now, um, of course it doesn't work for me. So using that, the basic bleed to auto splitter that you have on the resources tab on speedrun.com is right here. And that is the file that I will be using. So in order to do that, Right now, when I launch Bleed 2, if I want to just use that auto splitter, it's going to run very poorly. As you see here, my split is just not working well. At least it shouldn't be. Oh no, wait. Okay. So this is the one that I want to use, right? The one that you just download normally. I changed my values earlier in a previous attempt. So right now, live split is just completely terrible, you see. We'll reset that and quit out of bleed 2 for now. Exit live split. No. I do not want to save my splits. So what the heck do you do? You find bleed 2 offsets. You can download this on the same site that you can download the auto splitter at. So you open up this once you get it all installed. Go into Bleed 2 and then launch this while you're inside level 1 or any other level. So I can just do this. Launch back up the game. Play, go into story, go into highway. Highway just takes less time to load. Gameplay. So you find Bleed 2 offsets. Now that that's done, you can quit out of the game. You can open up the offsets.txt file. And you find all these var values. So, what the heck do you do? After doing all this, you go into your bleed to live split file. There it is. Go into here, and then you find all these at the startup. What you want to do is copy these values from the offsets file into this. And that's basically all you do. File, save, then you can close these. Then press Windows plus the R button to open up your run. And then go into percent app data percent. Once you're here, go into bleed2, save game .sav, And then you want to find dodge swap. By default, these will be set to num key pads basically any numbers on your num key. Um, I'm not exactly sure which ones, but since I use my mouse to switch my dot dashes, I use J, K, T, and B for jump, click, tel kick, teleport, and blast, respectively. So after that, after you change those to whatever you'd like, save it, then close all these, open up live split so that you can have it open, of course. So now what you want to do is edit your splits, go into settings as you would be setting up any auto splitter, browse, go to whatever um, auto, auto splitter you just changed, and then once that ready, that is ready, unclick the reset category. What you want to do this because um, the auto splitter tends to reset while you're in the middle in the middle of speed running sometimes, so just as a precaution, basically. So now that that's all set up, we can launch back Bleed 2, and the auto splitter should work perfectly, as long as it is set to the one that we just had it set to. I find that sometimes it does change this back into the component folder, so be wary of that. So now we, when we go into the assault, it starts up perfectly. And of course, you can switch your dashes without entering the pause menu. 
you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next time, in the next video. In the meantime, stay warm.